Hey everyone, this is Prince from DC Programmer. I welcome back to yet another exciting video. And in this video, we are going to add voice call to our application in less than five minutes. This video is sponsored by Geo Cloud, which we are going to use in this video. Geo Cloud offers us a hassle-free solution to create our voice call module in almost no time. We can take advantage of all the latest features and updates without worrying about maintenance and adding new features there. Geo Cloud's amazing service ensures that our module is always up and running. It is easy to use, it is highly secure, and it's highly reliable. Now, what I love about Geo Cloud is the inclusion of these UI kits, which make the process a lot more easier, which we have seen in the previous video too. So we are going to continue doing this in this, in this video again, and you will see how flexible this thing is. Geo Cloud also has powerful audio SDK, using which we can embed high quality voice call into our application. It supports uh, group calls, spatial audio, noise cancellation, mini audio effects and a lot of analytics and we don't just have one-to-one -one voice calls. you can also have group voice calls you can have voice chat rooms and you can also do online call karaoke using that but right now let's get started with one-to-one -one voice calls now before you get started i would also like to let you know that you can go to my hash node account or just simply visit my website and you can also find written tutorial about the same so if you're interested you can take a look here too now, as you remember, we have already added these things in our application. We have a chat app and a video call up and running. What I'm going to do in this video is that I'm going to extend this button to add an audio call. Now, some of you may remember that even in the video call, we can turn our audio, our camera off. And I thought to leave it in that way because that can be used for the audio call too. But actually the concept of audio call is different. You don't even want to involve any kind of camera operation there. You're just saying that, hey, I just want to talk to you audio call, no transmission of video whatsoever. So let's proceed. I'm simply going to add a username, the user ID that I have been using for in the other videos too. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm going to click on connect and well, we don't have any conversation right now. That's completely fine. I'm simply going to create one, the other account, one, three, one, three, one, three. Go to click OK and this is what we are going to get. Once done, if you come back, you click on this again, you can see that we have this video call icon here. So I'm simply going to add another icon here. Okay, I'll just copy this as it is. And here I'm going to replace it with a call. Let's save this. Let's come back, save this again and then go back again. Here, as you can see, now we have this button using which we can go to our call page. So here we already have a Zim video call page up and running, right? What I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a Zim audio call page and just copy the same code there. And here, as you can see, we have a Zim audio call and this is a Zim video call code. I'm going to copy this and paste it here, same to same, all right? The only thing that I'm going to change here is that I'm going to rename this to, let's say, um, Zim audio call and save it. You can come back here. Everything is now up and running. There is no issue at all. But this is where things get interesting. So initially when I thought of doing it, you know, I started experimenting and reading a documentation. So when I went to Geo Cloud's documentation for UI kit, which was the call kit, the one that we are using right now, I saw this tab here, obviously, and it says how we can implement an audio only call. The code, as you can see, says that, you know, you have to start a one to one video call and then you have to turn the camera off when joining, turn the Microsoft phone off on joining and just turn the speaker on on joining. I thought that maybe they have set up a way where, you know, once turned off, it won't open again. And I was trying to experiment with it, but I don't know how, or maybe that uh, is not the way to do it. I was able to actually turn the video camera on. So I was thinking of doing it some other way, but then I realized something very interesting. And I'm going to show you how you can do this, how you can uh, create a audio call in less than 30 seconds from now on. All right, just go to this file. We are going to copy this. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to paste it here. Okay, no changes whatsoever. We are obviously going to either have a video call or an audio call, not both of them at once. Once done, let's go back here. And as you can see, we have a one-to-one -one video call option here, right? What you have to simply do is that just type one-to-one -one voice call. I think they've updated the SDK, but they have not updated their documentation, which is why we are getting this issue. Now, once you're done, that's it. Come back, start it again, click on this. And now, as you can see, we only have three options. You have a microphone, obviously. You can cut the call or you can turn the speaker on or off. I think this is pretty much everything that we need in a you know, video audio call application, right? There's no option to even play with the camera whatsoever. So yeah, that's pretty much it from my side in this very simple, straightforward video where honestly, all I've taught you is how to just use one-to-one -one voice call instead of one-to-one -one video call. But this was really important to tell you about two things. One, that, you know, video call and voice call is different. Just uh, turning the camera off by default or enforcing the camera to be turned off is just not necessary. And also that the documentation is not complete right now. So if you're trying this, you may have some issues. 
and if you're trying this it will work completely fine so that's pretty much it from my side in this video i'll see you in another video till then keep coding keep sharing keep loving and peace